Here's why hyaluronic acid products are a idea. To understand this, you need to look at dietary carbohydrates and glutathione first. I know that sounds weird, but just trust me on this. When I teach it to doctors around the world, they all have massive light bulb moments go off. Very, very quickly, let me say this about carbohydrates. Our body makes glucose from other materials to always have the perfect amount required at all times. And we know this for a fact, and it's called gluconeogenesis. You can find it in any medical textbook you like, even the crap ones, right? This shows us that we don't need dietary carbohydrates. Otherwise, we wouldn't have that process in us after four and a half million years of biological trial and error in evolution. Now, let's quickly look at uh, glutathione. Some of you may have heard of it as an antioxidant, and it is one. It's a fantastic antioxidant, in fact. And you know what? It's so good. It's the only one our body has needed to get us to the top of the food chain after those same millions of years. That's why the absolute requirement for antioxidants in the diet of a human being is zero. We can literally make it ourselves whenever needed. Now, taking those principles of paleobiology, which look at our um, like biological makeup to determine what we do and don't need exogenously, externally, um, because we can make it internally, guess what? our cells can make their own hyaluronic acid too. The absolute external requirement for hyaluronic acid for our bodies is zero. And guess what else? HA, when it's made internally, has many, many functions. Those functions depend on things like molecular weight and something called the conformational state, as well as many, many other things, so that they can interact with receptors like CD44, TLR2, TLR4, TLR9, RAM, Live1, ICAM1, HAIR2, HAPB, um, integrins like Alpha 5, Beta 3, Alpha 5, Beta 5, Siglex, and many, many more. I don't, I don't want to go on, but how many skin, skincare brands do you think are out there that make their HA to be 100% bioidentical to what our body makes, both in structure, cofactors, and positioning? Here's a clue. Zero. And if you're deeply interested in learning the science behind those things, which I just said, I have a video about hyaluronic acid. I believe it's the most deep and detailed video out there on the topic. The whole thing's five hours and it was done in one take off the top of my head. So I'm sure I'll add to it in the future and do another version. But you can access it entirely for free in my school group. If you click on the classroom tab at the top when you're in there, I'll leave a link in the description. Now, if you really want to optimize your skin, though, why would adding a single molecule into it, talking about skincare here, change its entire status? The body doesn't work like that. There's no process in the body that relies on one single molecule in isolation. If your cells aren't producing HA, newsflash, there's probably other things they're not doing right as well. So what do you think adding just HA or rubbing just HA in is going to do? The reason it feels great is because companies know how to make something feel great to your finger as you rub it over your skin. But look at it with common sense. The cells aren't on the outside where your finger runs over the skin, they're on the inside. If you focus more on just getting the right things into you for your cell function to work optimally, there's no dry feeling in the first place to reach for a HA serum. In my view, reaching for a HA you know, piece of skincare doesn't solve why your cells aren't working as they should in the first place. This tries to cover up a, a, you know, a surface level symptom. Treating the actual root cause of cell function, loss, is what's important. And again, if you're interested, that's also the kind of thing I teach in the uh, two of the lovely members of my school group and even the free one.